Okay, welcome back everybody. We're going to finish up this shadow box. Take it apart. I've glued on these planets with super glue. Not a great idea. The fumes uh, affect the glass and I glued the dot on and then I glued it on top so it'd have a little 3D effect. Um, I have... Let's see what else. I put this little thing on and the button. I'll show you the back. I had to cut a hole for the button to fit in the shank. And then I just glued it down with super glue. And so then when we, when I went on to do the lights, nope. I bought these little lights at Hobby Lobby and they were $8 and then I got them on for 40% off. And so they ended up being $5 for something, something like that. I glued the little telescope in. These lights are cool because they do all kinds of things. So you got a selection of what you can have your lights doing. But this is what they look like. I just got the wired lights and they had 50 lights on them and I twisted them around and went back and forth. I glued some skin into the bottom and then I just wrapped and kept going, kept some out like this. For lights that are up, just twisted it up. I kept one long one over here. but And then I just spot glued them down here and in the corner. But then when I did that, all this smoke came up after I put the back back on. And uh, that was no good. I had to use acetone to get it off. So anyways, I'm going to do some painting on the mountains. And I just got some paint on here. It's flow paint. It's a uh, my white recipe with no silicone, but I like to use bamboo stick. I've done the black already, and I've done the background, but I wanted to show you what I do. I just want to add some shadowing. To the front here in white or highlights I mean not not shadow just to show the mountain uh, a little bit better just kind of putting it on moving it around up and down and then down Just to give it a little more texture, look a little real. Let's see. There we go. Same thing over here. Just adding a little highlight, moving that white paint around. breaking it up to where it'll look like peaks, valleys, different things. I want to resin on top of this just up to this point to make sure it's a good and on there and it doesn't try to peel up because I really didn't put anything on here but a little water to kind of activate the paint again and there's a little dip in the paint, so I'm going to follow those lines like that. Just give it a little bit of depth. Always staying on the same side. My highlight and sun's coming from here, and so I want to put all the white on one side and then black on the other. doesn't take much. 
but it really does give it a more realistic feel to it. That's for sure. Just picking up a little bit of paint on my bamboo stick. I'm just highlighting the edge there and moving that paint around. Like that. I have a little thing here. So I'm gonna work with it. Like that. You just kind of put and paint in. So I got some like that. You can I just stuck this bamboo stick in my mouth. Got it a little bit wet and then picking that back up. That. A little bit too much, but I'm gonna spread it around. Take some of it off. The great thing about the bamboo stick is you can remove paint and add paint real easy. So, just like that, there we go. So, your little mountains have some highlights and some shadows, and here is what I did to the background, the highlights and shadows. These are all skins left over from different paintings. Same with this covered skin. So there's that. Put this back in here. Like that. All we have left to do is resin the top of this when this dries. I'm going to put it on with a popsicle stick and I'll show you some of the it's hard to see with the glass and everything but it don't use super glue because it made all the glass foggy and crusty and weird and I had to go back through with acetone and really clean the glass and then I cleaned it with a baby wipe then I started over with Windex and when I got done, it was very clear. So clear you could almost not see through it. You could almost, looks like it was invisible. So I'll be right back and we'll do the resin. Okay. So I've stirred this little pot of resin. It's looking pretty good. This is the first time I've ever tried anything like this. So we'll see how it goes. The camera's kind of in the way. So I'm going to step up and go around, come at it from this side. I am just going to pick up a little bit and put it on my little mountain. Just spread it to the edge. Hate that. That's gonna be hard to get off right there. But if we get the majority off, I can just get the residue off later. And we'll see. It does bring a nice shine into my mountain region though. 
I'm not going to go all the way to this edge here because I think I'm going to tilt it and let it kind of fill in right there. I think that'll probably be better for our cause then. Trying to get it all the way down there. Now I'm going to push. Just pushing it to the edge gently. I don't really want a really thick coat. I just need it to stay on the, the glass. Just like that. And we'll go here and do this one. Same way, just kind of taking your little dot, pushing it to the edge. Like that. That resin really gives those mountains highlights and shadows. Really nice look. Just looking around, see what I've missed. Not sure. Oops. See how it looks. Well, there we've got some coming down. Dragging this way. I'm just going to continue that and lay it flat. See what happens. I was thinking about doing these too because it looks so good over there. So I'm going to push this out. I'll grab my chair. See what we can do with this one. Just little dabs will do ya. I don't want to get it up into the nebula and outer space area. May regret this because of the lights and the lights shining on the shiny parts, but it may look awesome. This is really an experiment. It's my first shadow box. So we'll see. Then we're going to do a little bit on this side. Just kind of shoving it around with my popsicle stick. Gently. Now I'm going to lay it flat to dry. Nope. Got the big voids. Forgot this part. Just like that. Okay. Kind of wipe this and then lay it flat. 
And I'll let these two sit around and cure all night. See what it looks like in the morning. We'll put it back together. Bye for now.